you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over a pretty crazy coin method slash investments video. Now, guys, I can't entirely say this was my idea. It was a mix. So, Xerxes called me up on FaceTime and told me about this. So, credit to him, obviously. Although, shouting him out on my channel is not going to do anything. It's more vice versa. But, his video will be going up before mine. I gotta give him that courtesy of letting him go first. But, guys, I swear, if you guys comment, if you keep commenting that I stole Xerxes' content, this is the first time you're allowed to. The other times, you weren't allowed to. The other times, I posted first. But this one, fine. You can comment it, but don't. But you can. But, so this was even. This was mutual. He called me. But anyways, guys, before I get into this video, it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. It was a great idea. For, can you guys please be so kindly? Go down below and smash the sub button. We're at 4.6K, and by the time we're watching this, maybe even higher. If we can get to 5K by today, I'll be extremely happy. I'll be so happy to be at that point already in such a short amount of time, guys. So please, smash the like, smash the like button, smash the sub button, turn on the notify bell to get notified every time. And let's get this video to 200 likes. I know you guys are going to kill it, so I don't even have to ask, but... About it. Also, comment down below if you guys have any more. You, once you'll see what I'm doing, you'll understand what I mean by if you have any more options. So, guys, we're going to do this in the auction block. So, this is how we're going to do this. So, we were thinking, right? There's always new cards coming out. And as you guys realize, I wish I had a bell curve to show you guys this on, like, on a month heavier than on prices. There's always new power-ups. But what we were thinking was is that, so look at this. So, Odell was going for 13K training right i mean 13k uh, coins then his new his new car got announced and now he's going for let's see he's go jeez okay where is he <laughs> i want the giants oh sad giants fan sad giants fan sad giants fan you guys don't you don't know how many times i've done that already you really don't i don't want to talk about it Anyway, so Odell goes for 61k now, but he was going for 13k. So pretty much every time a big name player is going to come out, but only big name players. So to, to invest properly, if you're like this, if you had bought in 10 of Odell's for 130k, and don't don't hit me with the EA tax, guys, I understand. This is quick math off the top of my head. If, if you had bought in 10 for 13k, it'd be 130k. If you sold them for times six more, you would have made like 600k. Just a little quick math. So it is that simple. 100k into 600k. And it's not going to take too long. So what you want is you want to do it to players that haven't, that have a lot of opportunity to be bought out or new cards to come out that are really cheap right now. So one we were thinking of was Ezekiel Elliott. Hopefully Xerxes didn't buy 100 of these yet because he was thinking about it. Let's go over to it. Let's go to Halfback Cowboys. Okay, so Zeke Elliott's 11k right now. He was like 4k yesterday. So I'd wait a little bit, wait till more get posted. They're kind of low right now. If you can buy these out for like 7k, you could buy like five of these, right? Five for 7k, that'd be, what is that, 35k? 35k coins. And then, it's as simple as this, you wait. Zeke might get a, a Mutt Hero that's coming out soon. He might get a lot of things. So if Zeke, or an Ultimate Superstar, if Zeke gets one of those, that car goes up to 40k. If you have five of them that you bought for 35k, I mean, yeah, right? Did I say that? If you have like five of them and you resell them, you make it back like 200k, 250k, if they go up to 40, 50k. So guys, that is an awesome investment right there. Now I'm going to give you guys a few more big name guys that I've thought about. So obviously Todd Gurley already went up. So that's out of the, that's out of the equation. Saquon was an option, but he's too expensive. So another option was, okay. So another one is Raiders wide receiver Antonio Brown. Again, they're a little higher now because it's so early in the morning. It's like 8:30 a.m. Eastern time when I'm recording this. So he'll probably be like 6k. If you can get him for like 6, 7k, you buy a few of these. We know AB's gonna get some kind of card. He always does. I'm not really concerned about AB getting a card. Now, overall, if you guys are getting the consensus so far, it's pretty much just all big name cards. You don't really have to. You don't have to really shoot for like crazy, crazy cards like that. Even you can still go for like lower name that you know will still get an upgrade. So like AJ Green, I think he might have gotten hurt in practice, so he's not the best option right now. But AJ Green always gets some kind of mud here or some kind of card. Mud here is coming soon. He's going for 2K, so that's another great one. Now just keep going down. I like wide receivers typically because you know they're gonna get upgrades, and a lot of their power ups are really cheap. The fast ones won't be cheap. Like D Hop and them. Now let's go over to running back. There's a few good running backs. There's a few good quarterbacks, too. I'll get to the quarterbacks in a second. So, for running backs, we had... We're doing it overall like this now because it's a little easy. Christian McCaffrey. Awesome one. 
Because right now, Christian McCaffrey's, let's just say for fantasy purposes, on the board as one of the number one picks. He's going to have a crazy season and crazy touches. I guarantee you will have a team of the week boss, probably. If you can get some McCaffrey's for like 3-4K and an Alvin Kamara's for 3-4K and Le'Veon Bells, if you buy, if you buy like, let's say 10, let's say 20 Le'Veon Bells, that'll cost you about a, a little over 100K. If he goes up to 25K or 30K after an upgrade, maybe even more, you're making so many coins. Also, Alvin Kamara too. Alvin Kamara, Le'Veon Bell, McCaffrey are going to have crazy seasons, most likely. Even Joe Mixon's not a bad idea. Those are all great, great options for this method. Now, I'm pretty sure I was like, oh, and Melvin Gordon, but Melvin Gordon's having some trade issues. That's why I wasn't going to mention him. Now, who are the other ones? His quarterback, I believe Cam Newton is another one that's really cheap. Let's go over to him. Even quarterbacks are never a bad idea because you're not going to go up, but it has to be a good quarterback. So let's go to Cam Newton. Cam Newton, I believe, is 6K. Russell Wilson, oh my God, there's so many. So Cam Newton is 4K. You buy like 10 of these. He gets, I promise you, every week, Cam Newton. Every year, Cam Newton has some crazy Team of the Week card. You guys know this if you played Mutt. Some crazy Team of the Week card that's like unaffordable, 300K, and his power up goes up. So if you can get him for like 4K, like you get like 10 of these, and then he goes up to a 50K power up, that's, what, 500K? You made 500K minus the 50K you probably spent on it. So you made 450K after reduction, probably 410. Half, almost half a million coins just doing this. And obviously, guys, you don't have to do, a, if you have a little bit of coins, just do a few. Buy like five Alvin Kamara's so for 4K or five Christian McCaffrey's for 25K each, but not together, all together. And then that 25K sits in your binder, and then or you could buy one of each. And if any of them happen, you probably make 50K. These are the best investments right now in the game, hands down. There's no other better investment because we see firsthand what happens to power up when they get cards. We've seen, and by the way, before I get to that, actually, real quick, Aaron Rodgers, another good one. And um, Aaron Rodgers, Cam Newton, if Deshaun Watson ever gets one, those are just two really good options to keep your eye on. Keep your eyes on now to show you guys a few examples see if you, if you guys don't believe me when cards have upgrades like i said i just i did the giants again i did the giants again okay i'm gonna use odell as an example again he was 13 he was 13k now he's 40k now i'm showing sure you guys talk earlier this isn't even loading i'll have to show you guys that actually i'll go to rams Todd Gurley was like 15 20k when, and when he first got his upgrade, he was like 45k. Let's see what he's at now. He has a lot of cheap ones. Todd Gurley's now at 28k. He came down, but when the card first comes out, you have to sell it. That's another key to the key to the method. You have to sell it right away. You can't wait. As soon as it comes out, it's going to be at its highest. Pat Mahomes was like a 35, 40k up of power up. And when his card first dropped, he went up to 200k power up. I don't think people actually bought it. So I'm just letting you guys know now. So the second you hear news about it, go check the block. The second it drops, go do it. Go sell it because those are going to be the highest will ever be. Todd Gurley was like 45, 50K when there was news of him. And now Todd Gurley is actually dropping today at 1030. So when he drops again, they might actually rise back up. So, I mean, this probably isn't the worst buy right now, but I probably, I probably won't buy it. Aaron Donald's 86K. And if, if a new car comes out like a, a Michael Vick, his power will be a lot for a while. Unless, it's typically the basically power for the most expensive because legend power ups always get the legend solos. So that probably won't be too bad. But cars like that, like if they drop like a new D-Hop or a new Tyree Kill, that's always going to rise it, guys. That's pretty much it for the method. Just under understand these three tips right here. First off, buy in advance. Typically get them for all under 10K. The cheaper you get them, like 4, 3K, the better return you're going to get. Second tip, make sure to sit on this. Watch, go on Mutt Leaks. Know when they're going to drop. Maybe if you don't have them already in the Mutt Leaks suite tonight, you can get them there quick enough and you can go buy them out. Typically, it's too late because enough people already beat you to it. Also, anticipate. You know, if you watch real, real football, Saquon Barkley had 250 yards this week. His power is probably going to go up. Why? He's probably going to team of the week boss. Just to, something to anticipate. Don't just don't always take that as law because, you know, man, weird that I don't even give him a card for that, but they should. And third, always sell once you get once you get it. Don't hold on to it. Don't power up. Just sell it. It's going to be so many coins to have, guys. But that's about it for the method. I hope this. I hope you guys can use this method. It's more of a long-term coin method, but trust me, it gets you a lot more than just holding elites and selling them for 30K more over the course of, like, a week. If you combine this method... With buying, selling your team before weekend league, sniping Saturday Legends, and then selling and then buying team back Monday. If you can do that with this, it'll be a month. This is how I, I did everything last year. I'll be, you'll be a month millionaire in a, in a month, or maybe more, depending on how well you do it. But guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you guys are new, smash the sub button, guys. Please, please smash the sub button. We're so close to 5K. I believe we can hit it in the next, probably by tonight, if you guys really kill it. And also, turn on the notifications to be notified every time I post. Comment down below if I missed anyone on this list or you guys have any feedback on this method. And guys, let's get 200 likes in this video. I know you guys are going to kill it. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content.
Peace.